Now next I'm gonna share with you a recipe that is made. Um, it's called cashew ricotta. And it's a uh, cheese made of cashews. After you're done, you're gonna taste it and you're gonna think that it's actually ricotta cheese. So we start with um, uh, one and a half cups of cashews that I've soaked for about four hours. You can also um, just make it expedite this process by soaking them for five minutes in really, really hot water. Um, also, we're gonna need some uh, fresh black pepper. We're gonna need some salt. We're gonna need about a half a cup of water. Raw apple cider vinegar. Nutritional yeast and a blender. If you don't have a blender, you can also use a, um, a hand blender or uh, you can use a food processor. Okay, and it's very easy, very quick to me to make. And uh, first, we're gonna drain our cashews because we don't want any of this water that has been soaking in uh, for the last four hours. Okay. So now that we have drained our cashews, we put everything in the blender. Cashews. Um, we put about uh, one teaspoon of salt. We will put um, one teaspoon of uh, nutritional yeast. And uh, we also put about one tablespoon of uh, apple cider vinegar. And we will also add uh, one clove of garlic that I cut into quarters lengthwise. Uh, I didn't mention that at the beginning, but you need the garlic as well. And uh, we are going to blend all of this. We're going to take the feeder top off. And we're going to blend. As we blend, we're going to add our water. So we're going to add the water to a consistency that is... Um, not liquefied, not, not completely runny, but just to have that cheese consistency going on. So we're going to go ahead and blend. And you can see as we blend, we have the check for consistency because we don't want to add too much water don't add all the water at once okay and I only added about uh, half of the water that is asking for and as you can see this is our cashew ricotta is um, it's delicious you can add a little um, crushed black pepper to it Again. And as you can see, um, what I like to do is to store it in a glass jar. There you go. That's your cashew ricotta. Is is the consistency is almost like it's really like ricotta cheese. And the flavor you're gonna be very surprised. It's almost it's very cheesy. You can use this and spread it on toast. You can use it when you make a vegetarian lasagna. Um, it will work and it will melt the same as cheese. So enjoy and have fun making it.